Welcome back to the snowy world, everyone. I found a massive snow cave, or a frozen cave at that. It looks really cool. I kind of forgot I'm not using my electro wings now, so I kind of got a long, oh, look at all that emerald. I kind of got a long trek home. But today we are building the base out here and I want to get mining right away because, as you can tell, there's plenty of resources here. Oh boy, I believe I'm a little lost. I think we're over there though. Oh, oh, is this a snow ravine? Kind of, is it? I'm just telling you, you would not survive here if you did not have the right gear. His only food source here, literally, is rabbits. And you're not gonna be running through this snow to kill them. Ah, here we are. So I did make a little rabbit pin here. Uh, that's gonna be my only source of food, so we'll see how this goes. Um, can you breed yet? Please stay in the pen. Come here. Oh, you guys can't handle the tough terrain? That's just crappy. Whoa, they're like really pushing through it now. <laughs> that was weird. Starting on my little castle here. I think it's gonna turn out great. It's kind of just gonna be in this general area. Don't know where I wanna put the mine at, but I gotta decide soon because I need to start mining for resources. I think I'm gonna put it on top of the mountain. Luckily, I was smart enough to bring my entire, what the, my entire beacon so we can mine fast out here. Got a lot of rabbits now. I'm running out of carrots though, so I'm gonna have to create like an indoor farm here pretty soon. This is a little mini castle so far. I'm kind of struggling with the blackstone roof because I want to make it all out of full blocks so snow can stack on top. I think that looks really good. Um, so these are the little towers and I'm gonna have one main building right here. I love the way it's turning out. What is that? Every time I see that, it looks like a little pixel art tree of snow, doesn't it? So one thing I'm starting to notice is no mobs will spawn out here. Not even one. I didn't know they couldn't spawn on snow. The little mini castle is coming along well. I'm not sleeping because I want the snow to pile up on it. I love that look. Now I need to plant these carrots. I don't know how I'm going to do this. Guess I'm just going to put rooted dirt there. It's the only dirt I have. <laughs> okay, is there normal? Is that normal ice or is that packed? I think that's packed ice. Crap. Yeah, it's all packed. Oh crap. Wait, no, no. Oh, look. You got one. Yeah. Oh, good. That's perfect. I would have had to take a long trek somewhere to get water if there wasn't any normal ice up there. Okay, I think these torches will keep it, well, warm. All right, now we have a little carrot farm. All right, my mini castle is coming along pretty well. Uh, it is probably gonna get bigger than this. I think I just wanna keep expanding it up the mountain rather than to the sides. But yeah, now I'm working on the inside now. Um, so we got this staircase. This is gonna go up to, I guess this is gonna be like my bedroom up here. Just a sleeping point. Got lots of interior design to finish up. This might be like the kitchen smelting area. And then over here, it's going to lead into maybe an armory area or a place where we store the emeralds. So uh, there's a hole right here, and I thought that'd be the perfect place to put the mine. Before I build anything up top, which I'm probably gonna build maybe a crane on the side of that hill right there. I'm gonna dig all the way down there. Oh, oh wow. Oh, God. <laughs> we're all the way up at level 140. See, I could go on the, hmm. See, I'm still debating that. Should I go up on the mountain and start the mine? I don't know how low emerald goes though, so I guess we're gonna find that out. I'm gonna go all the way down there, place the beacon with a one by one hole, try not to fall in lava and go from there. Oh man, I completely forgot we're gonna go in the negatives too and we are, oh my God. 
Imagine if I did build up in the mountains, how big this quarry would be. Broke into a cave. All right, we reached the bottom. Oh my gosh. See how many rockets it takes to get out. Ooh. One, two. Five. I'm starting to wonder as well, though, if this is even worth it, because, I mean, the amount of emeralds I will find in this tiny little area is probably slim to none. And I could just walk along these mountains and just find the emerald like I did. I don't know. This is a tough call. No, we're going to do this instead. That's a nice spot, but look at all of this terrain that there could be more emerald in. I think I want to build the mine at world limit and go all the way down to negative 60. So I'm gonna have to dig 316 blocks. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna dig down there in a one by two. And then once I get down there, build the beacon. Oh, do I have my light rings on? Okay. <laughs> and then we can start mining. But first of all, I need to find out what the world build limit is. I think they increase, okay, I'll do this, duh. Oh, wow. Okay, so yeah, they increased the world build limit, but they stopped uh, terrain from loading above 256. Oh my God, we have plenty of room <laughs> to build like a crane up here. Not even that far down and I already hit Emerald. So I have a feeling Emerald does spawn in these mountains, but I don't think it spawns below the mountains. Wait, I just found a picture. I won't be able to put it on the screen, but I'll just explain it. Uh, the new Emerald generation goes from level 32 all the way up to max generation height. So, okay, we'll stop at 32. <laughs> but we don't have to. Ooh, good thing. That's why you dig down two by two. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my Lord. Okay. Well, let's see how long it takes to get out. Ugh. One, two, three, four, five. God help me. Six. <laughs> it's going to take seven to get out of here. Oh my gosh. Probably just gonna build a bubble column. I wonder if they go to infinity, you know, like bubble columns, you know? Hopefully they do. If not, that would suck. Wait, whoa, 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 what? It only goes to a height limit? Are you joking? Since when? I am beyond annoyed. Why is it only a high, certain height limit? Are you, or can it just not load that far? Oh my gosh, I am devastated. I still have it. Oh wait, I still have it. Or is it going away? It's gonna go away, isn't it? Oh, I still have it. Are you kidding me? It just can't load? Well, that's lame. <laughs> I wanted to see the beacon. Maybe I'll see it from down here. Maybe. No, this game is very bad at being able to load stuff from a distance. Getting a little bit of interior work done in the house. Gotta have the banner. I think I wanna put a flag on top too. Uh, and I think I wanna make it like green and gray to signate emerald. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and decorate it in here some. I already kinda of got a little bit going on. I'm not the best interior designer, but, um, and of course I got these custom painting packs. John Smith, by the way, that's what it's from. Yeah, not looking too shabby. I don't wanna go too crazy because this is like a medieval i'm thinking i want to do this thing where i want to keep it very old school looking um and then yeah i know bring a lab over here and make it look like we found this and like we have a lab set up somewhere in the back here but right here in this section i want to build a smelting station where you can work on tools hmm maybe something like that is that good oh yeah i like that Get an anvil and grindstone in here. In this other little section I have, I think it'll be perfect for, let me just get all of the things I need here. Man, shulker boxes are so nice, aren't they? Get a little bed, oh wait. Ooh, let's go down one. Okay, some slabs. There we go. Oh, wait, but then I won't be able to, huh. Okay, I can't do that. <laughs> have a bed. Probably gonna have a, a skull laying in the corner. And this is gonna be the little jail cell.
What? Why can't I place that? What the heck? That's a... That's a top slab. Why can't I place... Armor stand on it. Oh, God. Okay, whatever. <laughs> All right, got that. Uh, had some detail around there. There's gonna be a little brewing stand, a little smelting area for tool making. Got the kitchen outside. Can this be planted on coarse dirt, I wonder? Plant some of these. Oh yeah. Now, I don't want this place to look brand spanking new. I always like my stuff looking like it's been here for a while. Like we found it and kind of took over it. So I'm gonna go through, add some cracked stone brick and some other blocks. And I'm thinking back in here, I'm gonna convert this into like an area where it looks like Slime Science Center came and set up a little operation to, you know, study this area. A good little idea with all the new hanging stuff we're getting. It'll look good as vegetables hanging from a rack in your kitchen. As well, you have the spore blossom. What else hangs? Oh yeah, the red vine from the nether. I might want to go, oh wait. That might look better than that dripstone. <laughs> do I have a net? I think I do. Oh yeah, always got to have a nether box. Um, oh my god, I, see, I keep forgetting about all these updates. I've been running around struggling, looking for stuff to put in pots, and I have all of this. I always forget about all the mushrooms and everything. And the cool crimson doors. Ugh. So I just get so excited about this new stuff. I gotta start using some of this. Well, we are gonna be doing a big nether project here pretty soon. Um, okay, so I don't want it to grow all the way, so... Yeah, I guess. Should I do one more? <laughs> yeah, oh, see? Looks like different vegetables and stuff. Okay, I was gonna question if andesite actually spawns up in the sides of mountains. Oh, no. Because with all my mining I've done here so far, I've not come across one andesite deposit, and I really need it. Andesite's really good to mix in with stone to make it look like it's weathering. Got okay, emeralds. More emeralds, but where is the andesite? I have a strange feeling that andesite actually doesn't spawn in these mountains. That is just wild. And I'm actually deciding, I don't think I want to do a quarry mine here. I think I want to do a fun little project where we build all kinds of scaffolding along these mountains collecting the emeralds. Because as you just saw from me looking for andesite there, there's loads of emeralds to be found. And I think it'll look cool with all the scaffolding everywhere. I don't get this game right now. I've been playing on hard difficulty the whole time I'm out here. I've not seen one mob, not even one. And there's dark spaces too. Like a mob could definitely spawn in that corner right there. I do have torches everywhere. I'm gonna test that, take this one out. Get back. Yeah. So this grand, well, that's what's going to be. This right here is going to be like a grand hall. Or well, not even that. I don't know what it's going to be. It's just going to be a nice big room. It'll come about to like right here. And this is where the slime science is going to be like set up. Just a little operation. Going to have like a stack of emeralds in here. Um, and just kind of make it look like we took over this old castle. And we're going to be collecting emeralds around here. How fun. Yay. Yay. <laughs> but I'll go ahead and answer today's comment question of the day. I missed last episode. I don't know how. I just ended it for some reason. But that one, I'm going to answer that one. It's from Taylor Moreno. What is your least favorite thing in your world right now? The least favorite thing in my world... Mm, oh, we're going to be building a map up here too. It's probably... I kind of forgot I have this room up here as well, if you guys didn't notice. I got a build up here. I'd say talking about my home area is all the natural trees. I have quite a few spruce trees and as much as i like them the more you get used to like building in minecraft and the better you get the more you don't like them the more you want to build your own custom trees such as the tall one on my hill at home and when i walk around my world i so badly want to transform every single one of the mega or tall spruce trees into a custom tree i could probably do it with the you know the tall spruce tree itself just get rid of all the leaves and kind of cut actually i might do that yeah i might just strip it of its leaves and then kind of customly put them on there myself but sometimes i don't like the look of the trunks either but yeah that's the thing i dislike the most right now i don't know why i just feel like trees could look better around there the next comment question comes from 
Vlad Talpo. What happened to the Slime Swine Adventure series? So if you guys are not aware, back then I used to play co-op survival series with my friend Kyle, also known as McGriddle Cakes. And that's actually one of my most viewed series on my channel. And it was just him and I surviving. It ended kind of short, like most things do on my channel, except for my Let's Play. And that's because we both were very into like Xbox gaming and we would quickly get interested in other games like very fast and I feel like that's what ruined it for us. So let's say a new game come out that we were interested in such as I remember Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege or Tom Clancy's Breakpoint. We always liked the shooter games we played those a lot and when those came out we forgot about every other game we played and I feel like that's what kind of ruined it for us. But as of late, I haven't talked to McGriddle Cakes in a very long time. Um, I think we like we hit each other up every so often, like saying hey or something. But I actually haven't been on my Xbox in a very long time. And he doesn't even play Xbox anymore. And that's how we usually used to talk a lot. But nowadays, he's got a beast gaming <laughs> computer and he plays on that all the time. And I just do my own thing on Minecraft. And we just haven't really talked about it. I don't know why. If we ever come around again, I'd be down to do another slime swine. I did not know there was one of these guys down here. You sell a bell? That's cute. But thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, I'll see you in the next episode. I don't know what we're going to do next. Probably still work out here. Actually, we'll probably start the emerald collecting process. I think that'll be fun. I'm starting to think these mountains over here look a little bit more cool. God, just... <laughs> They're so massive. I mean, look at this. This is so cool. I gotta check this desert for some temples too. All right, bye-bye.